Hello everyone. In previous video, we had completed unit 1 and from now, we will start new unit that is unit 3, time in distributed systems. From this unit, at least 2 questions will be asked in exam, which carries at least 15 marks. In this video, we will study about clock synchronizations, type of clock synchronization algorithms, and physical clock and its different algorithms, Christian's algorithms, Berkeley's algorithm, and network time protocol. So, what is clock synchronization? A clock synchronization is a mechanism to synchronize the time of all computers in distributed systems or in distributed environment. Clock synchronization is the process of setting all the operating systems of distributed networks to the same logical clock or physical clock. There are two types of clock that is logical clock or physical clock. All the systems should have same type of clock either logical or physical. Synchronization is crucial for various distributed applications and systems to function correctly and efficiently. There are different types of clock synchronization algorithms. They are physical clock and logical clock. In physical clock, we will study about Christian's algorithms, Berkeley's algorithm and network time protocol. In logical clock, we will study about Lampert's algorithms, vector clock algorithm. Physical clock uses the timestamp for synchronizing clock, whereas logical clock uses the ordering of events for synchronizing the clock. As the physical clock uses the clock that is stored physically, but logical clock only uses the ordering of the event. In this video, we will study about physical clock and its algorithms, and in next video, we will study about the logical clock and their algorithms. So what is physical clock? Basically, a clock is an electronic device that counts an oscillation in crystal at a particular frequency, which is stored in the counter register. Physical clock can be used to timestamp an event on the computer. Each computer or system is having their own physical clock. All computers are generally synchronized to a standard time unit called Universal Time Coordinate, that is UTC. It is available through the radio signal, satellite, and so on. Now we will study about different physical algorithms, that is Christian's algorithm. A Christian's algorithm is a physical clock synchronization technique used in distributed system. It is the simplest algorithm for setting time. It is based on client-server concept, which makes the use of remote procedure call (RPC). If client wants to correct its time as per the server time, then it will make the request to the time server and correct accordingly. If the client want to make their time according to the server time, then it will send the request to the server and server will give the result. Like this. Your client is, re is requesting the to the time server and time server will give the current UTC, universal time coordinate. It makes use of UTC. The process on the client issue RPC to the time server at time t0 in d by 2 seconds, where this is the maximum difference between the clock and UTC. This is the maximum time difference between this is t1 minus t0 is the maximum difference between the clock and UTC, which is called D. This is also called round trip time RTT. The client process gets the response from the clock server at time t1 and calculates the new clock synchronization by t client is equal to t server plus t1 minus t0 upon 2. This will calculate the current time of client. The client gets the response, the client will get the response at t1 and uh, by calculating t1 minus t0 that is round trip time by 2. Yeah, by 2 kina gareko bhane yeah, client le server lai chai d by 2 second ma request send gareko cha so round trip time upon 2 gareko d by 2 gareko so this is the new time that will be correct according to the server this is the client time client time is equal to t server plus t1 minus t0 upon 2 this server time and the waiting time by 2 d by 2 this is the Christian's algorithm. Here is one example. 
or no transmits of packets at 5 hour 3 minutes 13 seconds and 100 milliseconds and at 5 hours 3 minutes 13 seconds and 600 milliseconds it will receive a message setting that the time is 5 hour 3 minute 8 second and 200 milliseconds what will be the Christian's algorithm calculate the true current time to be here this will be the t naught and this is the t1 and this is the server time now let's look at the solution send request at 5 hour 3 minutes 13 seconds and 100 milliseconds that will be t naught and t1 be 5 hour 3 minutes 13 seconds and 600 milliseconds t server is time of server is 5 hour 3 minutes 8 seconds and 200 milliseconds now we have to calculate the round trip time by using t1 and t naught so t1 minus t naught is 500 and by dividing by 2 we will get 200 milliseconds and now by using t client is equal to t server plus t1 minus t naught by 2 t server and by adding this we will get the true correct time of client 5 hour 3 minutes 8 seconds and 450 milliseconds is the true current time of client now we will study Berkeley's algorithm one node is chosen as the master node from a pool of node in the network this node is the main node in the network which acts as a master and other nodes act as a slaves master node request for the time in their clock master node will request the time of slips when the slips node sends the response the master nodes can calculate the average time difference between all the clock received and the clock time given by the master system clock itself and this averaging time is added to the current time at the master's clock and broadcast over the network we will understand these algorithms by looking at the example. Here is the example of Berkeley's algorithm. This is the algorithms. Now let's see the example. Here, this is the master node and two other nodes are present. That are slave node 1 and slave node 2. In master node clock, there is 3 o'clock. And in slave 1, there is 310. And in slave node 2, there is 250. And the master node requests for the time in their clock and the master node will request for the clock this master node will say my in my clock there is three o'clock what is in your clock and this will send the request and this will also send same request and then the slaves node one by one sends their request by saying their time this clock says that my time is more than 10 by yours and this clock says that my time is less than 10 by yours and this will average the time and it will broadcast then the average time difference will be calculated by the master node by using this 10 10 plus 0 and this minus 10 by 3 why 3 here because of 3 different nodes 1 2 3 so this will 0 minute now we will adjust the time according to the averaging time difference in systems clock there is 3 o'clock so the average time difference is also 0 minutes so we are using 0 minutes and now it will broadcast the same clock to all the slaves so slave 1 will also be 3 o'clock and slave 2 also will be 3 o'clock by subtracting 10 so this will be 3 o'clock and by adding 10 with this will be 3 o'clock and now all clock are synchronized with same clock this is the example of Berkeley's algorithm and now we will study about network time protocol network time protocol algorithm is a physical clock synchronization technique that is used in distributed system it is most commonly used internet time protocol and provides the best accuracy computers often include NTV software in operating systems it is the protocol that helps the computer clock to be synchronized over the network. Every device in the network will have their own internal clocks. It enables clients across internet to be accurately synchronized to universal time coordinate despite message delay. 
here a client and server communicates in a series of request and response client send the npt request to the server this client will send the ntp request to the server a request the time of b at t1 and b receives at t2 and this will record the time b will response at t3 and a will receive at t4 then the total transit time is calculated by using t4 minus t1 and t3 minus t2 this is the transit time transit time is the time spent by the masses in the network that is also called round trip time then one way transit time is approximately 1 by 2 of total transit time that is this time upon 2 this is the one way transit time then server clock at t4 will read approximately t3 t3 and the transit time this time plus transit time so b clock at t4 is given by t4 minus t1 plus t3 plus t2 by 2 the time difference between b clock and a clock at t4 is given by this b, b clock is this and t4 clock is this so t4 minus t1 plus t3 plus t2 by 2 minus t4 by using lcm we will get the time offset as t2 minus t1 plus t3 minus t4 by 2 this is the numerical expression of network time protocol now in next video we will study about logical clock and its algorithm thank you for watching if you are new then please share and subscribe the channel so that it can be reached out to many people thank you